Hello, welcome to this section of Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to talk about uh, the median and the mode of a data set. And I kind of want to paint this picture and explain why we even care about median and mode. Um, the, the truth of the matter is you need to know what these are because you're going to read about it in your book, you're going to read studies that talk about the median of something, uh, and you need to know what it means. Um, but also, let me kind of paint the following picture for you and, uh, and then segue into what the median actually is. Now, if I have a set of data and I want to kind of try to figure out roughly what the middle value of that data is, that's a very useful thing to know. As, we, as we've been saying, if I have a bunch of people lined up against the wall and I measure their heights, I can take their average value. You now, add everybody up, divide by the number of people, that's going to give me a nice representative number um, that represents that data set that, that I can just give that number to somebody and say hey their mean is this and that's very useful however the mean can become misleading if I have a situation like this what if I have uh, you know put everybody up against the wall and then I have like four or five really short people maybe even kids right like three or four feet tall people and then I have five basketball players or what if I just have one basketball player what if I have like 15 people that are kind of average height or maybe a little bit below average height and then I have one giant seven foot five inch basketball player. Now if I want to try to figure out a nice middle ground for this uh, set of data I might try averaging but when I do that I'm going to add everybody's height up including the tall guy's height and then I'm going to divide by the number of people and so I am going to arrive at an average value and that's great. However, because I have this one outlier, and that's what you do call it, you call it an outlier, when one data point kind of, kind of just seems to be out of place, he's so far skewed from everybody else that he almost seems to be like not even supposed to be there, right? Then you're averaging that into the data set and this very, very tall person's height is gonna raise the average value up and it might mislead, uh, you know, mislead you into thinking that the average is higher than it, than it really is. Because you know the whole point of averaging is to figure out what's a good representative number for your data set. But if I have one guy that's really tall compared to everybody else and I average him in there, it's gonna kind of, the average value is still gonna be the average value, but it's going to misrepresent the collection of data because that one person pulled up the average so much. It's kind of like in school, you know? If you're, if you're in class and most of the grades are running in, in the 80s, you know, like 82, 83, 85, and you got that one guy in the class that gets 100. Right? Well, great for him. He's a smart kid. Great, wonderful, good for him. However, he's kind of not representative of most of the people in the class. Maybe that guy already knew the, the stuff. Maybe that guy is, is just a genius and it's not really fair to lump him in and average it in because his grade was so much higher than everyone else's. So that's when averaging kind of isn't very useful. And so we have a couple of other ways to look at a representative number for the rough center of a data set. One of them is called the median. And you might have heard this before, um, especially when you, they talk about incomes. Like when they take survey, usually they don't say the average income of, of everybody in Houston, Texas is such and such. Usually they'll say the median income is such and such because you're always going to have some people that are extremely poor and you're going to have some people that are extremely rich. But the most of the people what you're really interested in are the kind of the middle section of people. And so you don't want to really average in those outliers. You want to calculate the median, which is defined to be literally the middle value in an ordered list of data. So it's 